So as you probably know, this is a look I am doing for my music video that I'm shooting for 30 Seconds to Mars, the song Hurricane. And I already did a look earlier with black lips, which probably explains why my lips look a little like right now. And I did a slight contouring of my eye. So having said that, I'm not really going to worry about taking off all of my makeup. What I'm going to do is actually just build on top of it. And um, I've done this many, many times before. It's easier to start off light and gradually get darker with makeup. So it's, it's gonna be a cinch to just cover this up and go from there. So I'm using, again, all MAC products unless otherwise stated, Painterly Paint Pot with the 217 brush. And this is going to go all over my eyelid underneath my eyebrow, into the crease, etc., etc. Again, I'm not worrying about the colors that I already have here. They'll add to it, I suppose. So let us start off with a black and a 224 brush. I'm using Carbon Eyeshadow. I'm just doing this by the fly. I haven't really thought this out a whole lot, so bear with me if I decide to change my mind and stuff. But just taking Carbon, and I'm just pounding it on the outer corner of my eye. Yes, pounding more so pressing than anything. And it's okay that it's not even and that it's looking a little weird right now because as you know, the key to great makeup is blending. So that's what we're going to do. Blend all you want, it doesn't erase poor bone structure. <laughs> Sorry, that is from a Devin Green video that um, if you guys don't know who Devin Green is, you totally need to look her up, she's amazing. D-E-V-E-N, welcome to my home, part two or welcome to my face off. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Okay, so I have the black here. Now I'm gonna add more of a charcoaly gray color on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to use a pigment. I guess I'm gonna use Sweet Sienna. Sweet Sienna is a loose pigment that I got, oh gosh, I can't even remember when, but you can use so many different types of grays, it's not even funny. And I, I went back to my 217 brush. I actually have multiple brushes, and so this is one that I used for yesterday's tutorial. It is unclean, but whatever. It'll still give me the color payoff that I need. You just want something that's a little bit frosty. You really want that black to be more matte so that it shows up more, and we're gonna actually bring it out a little bit further. And how this is going to differ from some of the smoky eyes that I will probably do in the future is I like for my smoky eyes, if I want them to be softer, to concentrate the black more so on the outer corner. It can still be intense. You can still bring it out, which I may end up doing with this. But it's not black all over the lid. And that's the difference. Smoke rises, and so it usually starts off around here being darker, more vivid, and it lightly fades. So that's how this is a soft smoky. As of now, again, this could change. So I'm going back with the same 224 brush that I did, and now I'm just going to, I didn't add any color to it. I'm just bringing it up slightly. And the way I bring it up is I look at the outer corner of my eyebrows, and I just lightly fan it out like so. And then blend it into your crease. If you have smaller eyelids or not a whole lot of eye space, you might want to not use as much black in this area because it'll make your eyes look really small. Black eyeliner, go in on the inner part of your eye, the water membrane or the water line. And then let's go right underneath the lashes slightly. I'm gonna go in with the 219 brush and saddle eyeshadow, which is just a warm brown here, underneath my eyes for now, and then I'm gonna go in with carbon again. The reason I do this is because sometimes black can be really, really harsh, and it can almost look a little drug addict-y if you don't have some sort of color to blend it out. Now, my skin tone is pretty dark now, so I can pretty much blend it right into my skin, but you'll notice a big difference. See, right now, to me, that looks really, really brown, but when I add carbon on top of it, you'll notice that it'll change. It'll be so pretty, baby. 
Just go ahead and pick your nose while you're doing this. If you're right-handed, working on your right eye. It's a great makeup technique. While you're in there, you can pluck some hairs out. <laughs> okay, so carbon eyeshadow is going onto the tip of the 219 brush. And we're just pounding, pressing that right onto what we just did. Continuing with this small dome-shaped 219 brush, I'm going to elongate the outer part of my eye and bring it into my crease slightly. I'm almost making a V right here on the outer corner of my eye. So you're just bringing it up slightly into the outer crease and then shading it down. And just follow that original point that you had. And you see, soft, more intense. Because we're gonna go back with the 29, I mean 224, and soften that Mamma a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, now I've got a very Slay For You-esque pointed eye. The key to this, especially if you're going off the deep end here and making it really extended and really pointed, is to just make sure that your head isn't tilted, that you have it centered at all times when you're looking in your mirror so you can make sure that you're creating an even point. Now that to me looks pretty point even, excuse me. <laughs> Home sweet home. That's a blanket from like my early days. So now y'all, we're going to apply black track fluid line or some sort of gel or liquid eyeliner that is black. You want this to be something that's long wearing for this look. Well, at least I want it to be long wearing for this look. Even though I'm only going to wear it for like 40 minutes and then I'm going to switch my makeup. But anywho, I digress. So just Go right across the lashes, get a nice eye line, because we're about to go put lashes on. Okay, so it's time to put on our falsies. I'm using Duo Surgical Adhesive, and I got these lashes from Sally's Beauty Supply. I do not know what they're called. To me, they look like the knockoff version of MAC number 36 lashes. So I apologize that I don't know what they're called. But anyway, I use a variety of things that are lying around my desk to put on the glue of the lashes. Right now I'm using a number two pencil and just going right around the band. Now I already had my lashes curled and a mascara applied on them earlier. Had them, I did it myself. But that actually helps when you're applying lashes to have your mascara on and your lashes curled. I didn't believe it until I actually tried it. So, anywho, as you may know, with Duo Surgical Adhesive, you've got to shake it, shake it, shake it. Get a nice and tacky shake it for about 20 seconds. In the meantime, you can be looking and thinking about like other things you can add or areas that you need to clean up on your face. So I see quite a bit. All those fallout. That's why I like to do smoky eyes before I do foundation and everything like that. But mm-hmm whatever mm. wow I never really thought I'd like myself without a cheek color and just contouring but it doesn't look bad okay so the longer end generally goes out on the outer corner here um, you can use tweezers to apply your lashes right now I'm just being lazy because you're probably not gonna be able to see it all that much in the shot anyway I'm actually using a more inexpensive angle brush right here so that I can position the lashes as I need to. To complete this look, make sure you check out part two.